Our Father in heaven wants each of us to enjoy peace and happiness in mortal life. Our Master Jesus Christ and his prophets have taught how to have that peace and happiness, even in a world that is ever more challenging, with increasing conflict and an intense concentration of alluring temptations. I will illustrate the wrong way to find peace and happiness, and then the proper way by using an analogy to rock climbing. There are those who attempt to scale a difficult rock cliff by a method called soloing. They ascend alone without equipment, companions, or any secure protection. They depend on their own skill and capacity. They do it for the fill of living on the edge with high risk. It is done despite the probability that in time they will fall and be seriously injured or lose their life. They are like many who face the challenges and the temptations of life without the security of following the commandments of God, guided by the Holy Spirit. In today's difficult world, they will almost surely violate critical laws with painful, destructive consequences. Do not solo in life. You will almost certainly fall in trans into transgression. There's a safer way to rock climb. When a pair of climbers tackles a difficult ascent, the leader scales the wall, placing anchors a few feet apart. He, or her rope, is linked to the anchor by a carabiner. Safety is assured by a companion called a second, stationed in a very solid position. The lead is protected as the second belays, that is, carefully controls how the rope is paid out. In this way, the lead is assured protection while ascending. Should there be a mis inadvertent misstep, the anchor will safely limit the fall. The second not only secures a lead, but gives encouragement with comments and signals as they communicate back and forth. Their goal is a safe, exhilarating experience by overcoming a significant challenge. They employ techniques and equipment that are tried and proven. The essential equipment includes a secure harness, a reliable rope, a variety of anchors to be fixed to the rock face, a chalk bag to improve grip, and proper boots or special shoes that a leader can use to grip the surface of a steep wall. The companionship has studied the rules and techniques of rock climbing. They've received instruction from experienced climbers and have practiced to become comfortable with the proper moves and the use of equipment. They have planned a route and determine how they will work together. When the leader scales far enough and finds a convenient place that is very safe, he or she belays while taking up the rope as a second follows the pitch or length of rope that has been extended. When the leader is reached, the process is then repeated. One belays while the other climbs inserting every few feet anchors as protection, should there be an inadvertent fall. While technical rock climbing appears to be risky and dangerous, these precautions assure an exhilarating experience safely accomplished by following correct principles. In real life, the anchors are the laws of God that provide protection under all of the challenges that you will face. The rope and carabiners that secure the rope to the anchors represent obedience to those commandments. 
when you learn those commandments and continue to practice them and have a plan to avoid danger, you will have a secure means of attaining protection against Satan's temptations. You'll develop strength of character that will fortify you against transgression. Should you make a wrong move, there need, need be no enduring problem because of the belaying or help that is available through your repentance. Let the Savior be your lead in life. He will safely lead you over the most difficult obstacles of life. His laws are absolutely secure anchors of protection that dispel fear and assure success in an otherwise dangerous world. Such a life will certainly provide you peace and happiness. True and enduring happiness with the accompanying strength, courage, and capacity to overcome the greatest difficulties will come as you center your life in Jesus Christ. Obedience to his teachings provides a secure ascent in the journey of life. That takes effort. While there's no guarantee of overnight results, there is the assurance that in the Lord's time, solutions will come, peace will prevail, and happiness will be yours. The challenges you face, the growth experiences that you encounter, are intent to be temporary scenes played out on the stage of a life of continuing peace and happiness. Sadness, heartache, and disappointment are events in life. It is not intended that they be the substance of life. I do not minimize how hard some of these events can be when the lesson you are to learn is very important. Trials can extend over a long period of time. But they should not be allowed to become the confining focus of everything you do. Your life 